Okay, they're referring to this as the wobble effect. Really, what it is, is we are either plowing through a more dense place in space, or it is the expansion of our gases around our Earth. Let me show you a little diagram, and then I'll tell you why we're spinning faster instead of slower. Okay, my friends, the Earth is spinning faster. How could that possibly happen? Now, I got this going on slow motion. She's saying 24 hours a day. Now, let's watch and see. This is Gravitas, and this is from W-I-O-N. Now, this is our Earth spinning. Now, what are, we, what are we seeing? Take a quick look. The Earth is spinning this way. The atmosphere, which is the clouds, is slipping across it this way. The atmosphere is semi-glued up to a point, let's say about here. Let's just guess at that. As it's spinning underneath it, it's rolling this way. The clouds are trying to catch up, but it, it, it's not catching up well because there's just more spin underneath. So let's watch it again. Here goes. You see what's happening underneath? There's the earth going, slipping under the clouds. Now the clouds are going to be ended up going this way, just not as fast as the earth. So the more expansion outwards, the more scrub we're going to have out here. You'd say, well, Roger, that's going to slow the earth down. No, just the opposite. It's going to speed the earth up. All right, now think this over very carefully. We are outside of the sun going around the sun. But in addition to that, the earth is spinning on its axis. Well, why is it spinning on its axis? And why was it always 24 hours? Why? Well, here's the issue. The earth has a certain gravitational influence towards the sun because of the mass of the sun. But it's being dragged forward, and I'll show you that in some GIFs. Now, we are going around spinning this way. What does that mean? We're really rolling. We're rolling in this direction like a tire would roll down a street. If we were spinning backwards and going that way, that wouldn't work. That's a backward spin. We need to roll down the street this way. And this is the street that we're presented with, is the atmosphere. It rolls around down the street. If it rolled backwards like Venus, it would be eight or 900 degrees here, just like Venus is. Because Venus is going backwards. It's one of the only planets, well, there's, Uranus also has a tilt spin to it. But Venus just spins backwards. And I can explain that too, because it came out of Jupiter. And when it came out of Jupiter, Jupiter's spinning this way. It came out, and it would roll backwards automatically. It would just roll backwards. Well, what does that mean? It's rolling in this direction, where it should be rolling in this direction. So it's rolling backwards as it just rolled off. That's why. And this is all recorded in ancient history. This is, not, this is all Velikovsky had recorded, that Venus came out of Jupiter. All right. They know there's certain layers of atmosphere, and you get out to a layer which is way out on the edge, and it is hotter than hell. It's 2,700 degrees or so. Now, what's happening down here between there and that? It's like minus a whole bunch of degrees. Well, how did it get so hot? This is the scrub zone. Now, here's the key. Two things can happen. This can expand, so it was, instead of being here, it can be out here now because of all the combustion. And now with all the fires around the earth and the heat, heat makes expansion. Expansion makes this thing get hotter as it scrubs harder. So it's a runaway train at this point. If we can't stop the combustion on the earth from every source, there's fires everywhere now, fires everywhere. And then water's falling where it shouldn't, and it's not falling where it should. The combustion now, I believe here's two things possible. One is that the expansion of the envelope is out here now, which is still scrubbing like hell through the, through as it spins. So instead of these things just sort of scooping around, it's going, and we're getting all kind of tornadoes and hurricanes and compression of atmosphere causing floods and droughts and all that. So, let's say that happens, it expands way out to here. That's one scenario. 
The second scenario is it doesn't expand a whole lot, but it creates a, a much more of a pressurized zone. So let's say the pressure in here was 10 psi pounds per square inch. And now it's 12. It's just like you pushing hard here at one pound against your other hand, and all of a sudden you're pushing at 1.2 pounds. You get more heat. It's as simple as that. Because this is absolutely 100% saturated, saturated with particles out here from every source there is. There's dust, there's ions, there's all kinds of particles of every nature. It's just that they are not luminous enough to really see them with the naked eye. But once they concuss, they're very easy to see. But they're all out here. And that's why it's 2,700 degrees. Same thing with the sun. Around the sun, it's millions of degrees. And on the surface, it's only 10,000 degrees. All right, let's start here. We're spinning faster. We're, uh, the Earth is spinning faster. Why would it spin faster? <clears throat> Everything is supposed to slow down. Well, I'm going to explain why it is spinning faster. And it's due to the combustion and the expansion of our atmosphere. And I have a little diagram to show you. All right, according to my theory, everything that pushes against anything else creates light and glowiness and energy. And in between, there'll be like a no man's zone. They call it interference patterns. What it is, is a repulsion pattern. These, these want to push those white ones away. They want to push these away. So you get dark matter in between them. That's literally what dark matter is. Everything appears to spin for some reason. I can't fully understand why. It appears that the whole solar system or the whole galaxy is in continuous motion. Why? I can't account for that. However, if it's true and it, everything does spin, which it does appear to do, it accounts for everything that we will see. And I will show you how, why our Earth sp is, spin is spinning faster now. And it's not due to the, the black hole of the, the uh, center of the universe, of the center of our galaxy either. It's due to the expansion of our gases. All right, you know that we're going through the arm of the Milky Way, uh, supposedly, and we are trailing the sun because the sun pulls us with its gravitational dark matter field. We spin this way, but we also spin around on our axis. And we also spin to the right. So we're spinning a right-hand rule around the sun. And we're spinning right-hand rule on our axis. And we should be 24 hours, but now we're speeding up. Why? This is for gifts.com. Very nicely shown how everything interacts. And the sun is also spinning. We're all spinning. And it's, it's due to the effect of moving forward causing this spin. All right, let me show you. So quite obviously, we are plowing through all of the particles and light and all that that's coming off the sun. Now, what happens after that? This is what happens. You get the scrub. All right, from the sun at 10,000 degrees, out here where it hits its atmospheric limit, which is the corona, it's millions it increased that much because of the scrub. And what's scrubbing is all the particles coming off here. And you say, well, I don't see any particles coming off the sun. Roger. Well, yes. Roger. Yeah. Okay, sorry a little interruption there, but this is the sun, 10,000, out here, millions. Same with us, 100 or so, a little more on the surface. Out here, 2,700 degrees. It's the scrub of the particles that are out in space. And here's the particles that are in space. Hold on one second. All right, this is a solar eclipse. All of these particles are leaving the sun and they will not return to the sun. Our magnetic field brings our particles back to home. They circle, but they come back. These are so energetic, they leave and they do not come back. And these, we have to plow through these particles. They're ions, they're photons, they're solar debris of who knows what. But they are of a part particle nature, which is a magnetic nature. You see that? That's our moon. And it does not have a, mag a magnetic field to speak of because it's not spinning. 
it's just staying in the one direction hanging off of us. Other planets and so forth are spinning, creating huge magnetic fields. I believe this is likely Venus or Jupiter or one of them. And they're dipoles because they're spinning within inside of magnetic particles. But their particles keep coming back. They're not solar. They're not sending them off into space. They are, that's like I say, their little piggies come home. They are being scrubbed, but they leave and then they come back. They leave and they come back, and that's what creates the fields. And that's what we should be looking at is, well, I don't know if you should be looking at it, but I can tell you why the Earth keeps spinning faster, and here it is right here. Okay, this is W-I-O-N again, and they're talking about why is this happening. We know it's getting shorter. What are the scientists offering about this? I showed you my reasoning is that we're getting pushed harder on this side, making it spin faster as we spin forward and being dragged forward. I think I showed you all those little doodles. Now, I got interrupted a couple of times, but I'm pretty sure I did. Now, again, W-I-O-N, and here she goes, and she's going to say, well, what's going on here? Why? Scientists are offering a range of explanations, starting with climate change. They say the Earth may be spinning faster because the Earth's poles are becoming lighter. Again, why? Because of the melting glaciers. One study suggests that climate change has moved the North Pole eastwards. In the last four decades, the pole has moved by around four meters. Another theory points at seismic activity. It believes that the Earth's axis may have deviated because Oops, let me back up one second. I will show you, this is my interpretation. This layer, which is our atmosphere, has become extremely reactive, extremely reactive. Tornadoes, hurricanes, storms, floods, compression of the atmosphere. Now why? Is it because it's expanded out here because of all the gases we've combusted? Anytime you combust something, it turns from one little ball up to as big as a house. I mean, it's literally, it's unbelievable. So, and it just can't escape because it's scrubbing as I showed you. Now, is it just scrubbing and being pushed faster to spin? And, and, or is it just getting hard and tight? Which would do the same thing. If it gets bigger, it's going to push harder still. If it gets real hard, it's still going to push hard because it's not mushy. So either one of those two things is the outcome of expansion of gases. And combustion is the expansion of gases, not necessarily carbon dioxide. The theory points at seismic activity. It believes that the Earth's axis may have deviated because of what's happening below the Earth's surface. As we mentioned, the explanations vary, but what about the consequences? What happens when the Earth begins spinning faster? Confusion. You see, everything around us... I, I'm not going to keep going. You can come up and watch this. It's called... Um, it's called Gravitas. Earth just completed a rotation in less than 24 hours. W-I-O-N. Now... This is not the important thing. They're not going to be able to point the ships in the right way. What this means is this harder scrub means more global warming. Simple as that. The harder it scrubs, the faster it spins means it's scrubbing harder and harder and harder. All right? That means more global warming. We have to stop the expansion of the gases. That's the only possible solution that we have. And the only way we can do that is with electron flood theory if it works i'm just saying if it does and we'd know within a couple of weeks we kept some of these big universities on this case a laser shine through the venturi we get this huge increase in energy it certainly looks like it if we can harvest that use some of it to keep it going use the rest for free energy these are solid state devices almost free dirt cheap a little lasers and receivers a few bucks and then once you built it, you never have to service it, and it would never stop producing energy. Clean, portable, carried around. All right, that's the only way we're going to stop this thing. Just getting ready to post this up. I just got this. Just came in minutes ago. Earth is spinning faster. Scientists warn of devastating effects. Well, they don't even know why it's happening. So, but I can tell you why. 
It has to do with this Coriolis effect. And it's because our expansion of our gases is making these arrows a lot bolder.